Greetings, people! Tis I, 480 Volts, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! We got a lot of stuff to do today. I'm gonna try to get most of my- most of my side quests done today. But first, uh, I realized something. Um, I left something behind. I lost my toothbrush. And, like, I really need it back, you know what I'm saying? Um... And I, I'm pretty sure I know where I lost it, too. I think I left it over... If I can find it on the map. Not there. I left it over at the Observatory Mountain, close to Dally. Yeah, I can't believe it. I, it's been there this whole time, and I've been, like... Really annoyed that I left it, and I want it back. I mean, I could I could buy another one, but, like, man, that's... That's my favorite toothbrush. So yeah, let me just go ahead and over pick that up and uh Yeah, we'll just uh, be on our way. This won't take but a second. Whoa, what happened to the observatory mountain? Why is there a giant tree root blocking it? Huh. Whatever. Well, let Why can't I can't enter the mountain? Oh, I wasn't counting on getting on a battle. Uh, that's nice. Uh, this guy... Uh, uh, oh, that's that's a problem. I know Zidane's protected against that. I don't know about everybody else. Oh, looks like everybody was good. I completely was not prepared for this guy. Uh, here, let's just... Uh, summon Bahamut and... Get on with this. Oh, never mind. He's dead. I never noticed Amrit goes into a meditative pose when you... When you beat... When he wins. Yeah, no, I'm just joshing with you. I didn't actually leave a toothbrush here. I just wanted an excuse to come over here to Observatory Mountain and show you that it is indeed blocked off. Um, the... Story explanation is that the Aoife tree's roots are destroying certain places or blocking certain places. The technical explanation is that the developers needed to close off certain areas to make memory space available for Disc 4. Now, Observatory Mountain is extremely small. I find it hard to believe that they needed to uh, do that, but there you go. But what's interesting is if you go over to Dally... You can actually get some dialogue. Um, well, first off, before I do anything, let me just go to the to this shop real quick. And uh, you remember these two losers: part-time worker Jeff and part-time worker Mary. Remember Mary? She's been stalking us uh, throughout the whole of Disc One. South Gate was destroyed by giant roots, so he and I came to this village. We were lucky. Aisha hired us on the spot. Oh, that's nice. Welcome. How did you two meet? She seemed different from the others when I first met her. I had no job at the time, so I decided to help run Southgate shop. Then the mist cleared and I couldn't get back because the cable car had stopped. So I ended up staying with her longer than I expected. Now I can't imagine living without her. <laughs> and you'll never be able to imagine because she'll follow you to the ends of the earth! <laughs> I'm so glad the mist cleared. I'm with a wonderful woman because of it. Well, that's nice. Uh, all of the items here are the same. You can do the cotton robe trick if you want. Yeah, I just thought that was cool. Uh, no, what I want to do is uh, head over here to this shop. <clears throat> There's uh, Mr. Sly. Uh, stick drift. We're not usually open during the day. The world's a dangerous place these days. How about some medicine? I don't need to buy. Uh, there's no point in talking to this guy, but... Over here's the dutiful daughter, Sly. Hey, girl. Are you looking for Morid? Now, Morid was the old man who lived in that... That observatory mountain. The guy who gave us the cargo ship. Which I figured out. That's over at Tantala's hideout. You can barely see it, but it's just... It's just chilling there. Morid died in yesterday's earthquake. What? What earthquake? You didn't know about the earthquake? Huge roots buried underground tore open cracks that Miss could escape through. Mord looked so peaceful like he was only sleeping. 
I'm so sad about losing him. Oh no! Oh no! That's Kuja's fault! Because he brought the mist back! Oh, Kuja, you're going down! You killed Morin! You killed Morin! Well, in all fairness, Morid was kind of ready to die. I think he talked about his dearly departed wife. And when we brought him the rare coffees, he was like, You know what? I'm ready now. I'm, I'm ready to join my wife. He lived a full life. Uh, let me just uh, do a quick little uh, restoration. Since I actually ended up fighting some battles. Fighting one battle. Alright, I just thought I'd show that off. Nice little Easter egg there. Uh, before we continue, I think it is only fitting to uh, show um, show our appreciation for Morid. Um, so I want to say a quick eulogy for him. I didn't know this man very well. I only met him a handful of times. Um... But he helped me out a lot. He told me about the cargo ship, and uh, which which I needed to hear at the time. It was a crucial piece of information, and when nobody else would tell me anything, he did. Now, granted, I had to twist his arm just to get him to tell me. He wouldn't say anything at first. I had to jump up and down. Well, it was more. It wasn't so much me. It was Steiner. He had to jump up and down and scream and beg like a little kid. But Morad eventually did tell us the information I needed when nobody else would. Also, he gave me his model ship. The moment I laid eyes on that sucker, I thought, man, I want that in my collection that I don't have. And he gave it to me. Uh, granted, again, it took a long time. I had to, uh, I had to travel, uh, all over the world to pick up some rare coffee beans just for the dude to even give me the ship. Uh, come to think of it, actually, he was kind of a jerk. But, in the end, I did get the last laugh. <laughs> because now he's dead. <laughs> eh, um, well. <clears throat> Rest in peace, Morid. My new old friend. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, Esto Gaza is also blocked off um, by Ifa Tree Roots. I'm not sure what other, I'm guessing Southgate is too. I'm not sure what other places are. Uh, but there you go. Now, there's a lot we can do. Um, and we're going to do a lot of it today. I'm going to first start with Daguerro. Let's go to Daguerro. All right. Let's just land our airship here. There's a bit of a side quest we can do. Um, and to set it in motion, we need to talk to a very specific person at Daguero. Uh, let's see. Well, first off, there's some items we can buy here as well. That's another thing. So, first, let me... I'm not going to really talk to most of these people. I'm going to start... Well, first off... Okay, well, first off, we'll go to the items... To the, the weapons shop. I want to buy some weapons. I want to... This guy has new equipment now. That, uh... That, that is unlocked on disc 4. So the very first thing I want to buy is an Ultima sword. Now it's not the Ultima weapon, but it's a new sword. It's a new sword for Steiner. I'm gonna buy one of those. I'm going to buy a Power Wrist. I'm going to buy Igus gloves, and I'm going to buy the Kaiser helm. All right, that's all we gotta do here. Make sure you got money. Um, I've done the Cotton Robe trick a total of four times, I think, in this game. Um, if need be, I can do it again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna buy all that stuff. We want to talk to this old man to set our side quest in motion. You appear to be quite the traveler, I can tell. If you happen to find an item called the Magical Fingertip, can you please bring it to me? 
Consider it a dying man's last wish. I will give you something in return. Oh no, not another man who's about to die. I don't think my heart can take it. But yeah, you need to talk to him and learn about the magical fingertip. That's step one of this side quest, is learn about the magical fingertip from that man. Like, everything you do is for naught if you don't talk to that guy and learn about it. So I just have to clear that up real quick. Uh, bu -bu 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 oh, um, since I'm mentioning, uh, since I have a little bit of time, I should mention that between now and the last video, I went to some of the Q's marshes around the world, and I caught some frogs. I basically got my frog count all the way up to 98, and I want that there for a reason. Um, I went to three Q's marshes, and that was all the frogs I needed. And I, I left some frogs at the third Q's marsh. So, uh, that's why my ship was over there when we started the video. So we'll do something with that in this video later. But, uh, right now, let's, uh, let's head over to Trino. That's where we want to go next. I just saw some Aoife tree roots. Oh, I know something I need to do with my gold chocobo. I'll take care of him in a minute. Alright, I need to find Trino. 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 Okay, there's Dally, which means Trino is very close. Yeah, see, all the location, these locations to Southgate are blocked off by Aoife tree roots. That sucks. Now, Trino's still accessible, so that's good. All right, let's talk. Uh, yeah, well, let's go here. I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out without the internet. But first off, uh, Trino's music, how I've missed you. Oh, man. So, um, do you remember way back in the beginning of the game? Well, not in the beginning of the game. You remember when I went to the auction house and I bought those rare items? It was like the Doga's artifact, the Une's mirror, the rat tail, and something else. There were some people that offered to buy them from me, take them off my hands for a pretty sizable amount of cash. Okay, I'm going the total wrong way. Well, I think it's time that we consider selling those items. I gotta find out where these people are first. That's the card house. I'm never darkening those doorsteps. Hang on, let me make sure that my... Yeah, okay, everything's recording the way it's supposed to be. I, I'm always paranoid. I have my list pulled up in front of me. So, uh... So when, when I, so I can't see my screen, or I can't see my audio recorder. I just wanted to make sure it was actually recording. All right, so let's talk to this big fat guy. You, you have Une's mirror with you. Will you sell it to me for 12,000 gil? No. All right, I'll give you 15,000 gil. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I want to sell it, but I don't want to sell it on the first try. I want to, I want to deny it so he raises the price. Now, there was a red mage walking around. I want to. I want to talk to him. He may not come back. I may have to, uh, I may have to leave just to get him to come back, which is fine. That's my favorite part of the whole song. Um, I know this guy, this guy over here will, uh, offer to buy the Doga's artifact. Now, he does not change his price. If I say no, he just says, oh, I see, that's too bad. No, yeah, no, I, so you have to sell it to him for the first try, which is 10,000. Still a good uh, amount, so yeah, we're, we're selling those items that we bought at the auction house. Oh, what, what the heck is over here? Oh, the main attraction of tonight's auction is ribbon, supposedly. Interesting. But if that's true, there's no chance in the world I could ever afford to buy it. You never know, if other people spend money buying other items, it could be cheaper. The man who always sits in the front row is there to buy the main attraction. You can try recommending other items to him, maybe. I don't know what all that's about, but uh, interesting that he said a ribbon. We'll have to uh, watch out for that. Alright, where's my... Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This guy's fast. 
You wanna talk to this guy? Hey, you, you got the Griffin's heart with you. I'll give you 8,000 gil for it. No way. No, I'll give you 10,000. Okay, thanks, I've been looking all over for it. Now, before he walks away, talk to him again. Oh, he has to get his usual. Never mind. Never mind. Leave the area and come back. You want to talk to that same guy? Wait, where is he? He'll offer to buy your rat tail. Again, 20,000, say no. 25,000. It's not much, but there you go. Okay, so now those items are gone and we got a little bit of extra money. Well, with that said, let's head on over to the auction house. Well, this is the this is the wrong place. I need to do something with that place, though. I need to drop off my last pieces of Stelazio, which I think I have two. What 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 the heck is over here? Oh, that yeah that. It's fun. if you talk to the big guy now, he just says, "I have nothing to say to the likes of you." I'm going the wrong way. All right, I gotta fast forward. I didn't want to because I love Trino's music, but. There we go. Here's the auction house. Once you have sold those four items, you can go to the auction house. They will reappear, as well as the magic fingertip. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so basically, those items can reappear in this auction house, and you can buy them again if you want. But more importantly, the magical fingertip will appear here as well. Also, there's a ribbon. The ribbon just appears here on disc four. Um, we want to get that ribbon. So yeah, um, but the magical fingertip, to get it to reappear, first you gotta talk to the old man at Dogwero, so you can learn of it, its existence, and then you gotta sell all four of those items, and then it should appear in the auction house. Uh, now we're, um, we're just going through the items. He sold a magician's robe, now he's selling the Doga's artifact. Um, we don't, I don't think we care about the Doga's artifact, I don't think we care about those rare items anymore. If we do, I think they'll be at this auction house forever. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Uh, can I actually talk to this guy? No, okay. Uh, I may have to fast forward. Come on, you guys. By the way, this auctioneer is nothing like a real live auctioneer. I, I don't know if you've ever had the privilege of listening to a real live auctioneer I have. And oh my goodness, they never stop talking, basically. Like, like he's talking, and if he, and if he has no, no other words to say, he will just make noise. But he, he, it's one continuous flow of sound. And like, they, they train to do that. Like, they never stop talking. They keep the energy moving. He's like, oh, I'm gonna sell the next one to sell this Doga's artifact. I'm gonna sell the Doga's artifact. And you only want to sell the Doga's Doga artifact and the 7, 18, 17 magical fingertip. You know, like they just keep it going. It's crazy. Anyway, the magical fingertip, that's what we want. Let's go ahead and save. Now, this one, I'm gonna fast forward because this one, in my practice, these get, first off, they bid an ungodly amount of money and they, and it takes a long time. I mean, they'd be going like, like, they just be dropping prices. But he finally, he finally said any more. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make our move. All right, we got the magical fingertip. Sweet. Now, before we get out of here, let's go ahead and get that ribbon. Because this is a rare item. Once you buy it, it's gone. See, see, look, look how high the prices are. You gotta make sure you got money. Now, I do. Because I did the cotton robe trick so many times. Come on now. Come on now. Up, oh, up. Oh. When he says any more, that's, that's when you want to go. All right. We got what we need. So now, now I have a total of four ribbons, I believe. That's good. That's handy. So I have one for every party member. They protect against a few status ailments. But more importantly, I got the magical fingertip. Uh, before we drop off the magical fingertip, however, let's go pay a visit to Queen Stella. Because, uh, I want to drop off my last pieces of Stelazio and see what I get from her. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, you have the Piscus. Give it to me in return for award. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. You know how much I don't care. I cannot believe there are still people in this world who believe that Zodiac symbols actually mean something. Anyway, we get 30,000 gil. I thought it was a different number. Whatever, maybe the number's randomized. And the Aquarius. Yeah, I'll give you the Aquarius. All right. <sighs> And we got the Robe of Lords, which is, I believe, one of the best robes in the game. Something is missing. According to my information, there are 12 Stelazio. Then why do I feel I am missing one? Uh, it's just your imagination. I see. No, 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 no. This is an RPG. If you feel you're missing something, then you are. Yes, there must be a 13th Stelazio somewhere. My queen, if I may, the writings on the Stelazio must be the key to solving the mystery. Well, fine. I'll give you all my Stelazio and you bring me the 13th. So we received 12 Stelazio. Note that it just went to a blank screen and gave us a text box of, of showing that we had gotten all 12 of them back. Yeah, if we look in our inventory now, if we look in key items, there they all are. Oh, and a Koopo nut that I probably should drop off. Um... You can read the Stelazios if you want to try to get a clue as to where this supposed 13-1 is. Or you can do the more practical thing that we do nowadays in the 21st century, and that's go to the internet. And since you're watching this video, you already have a leg up. You don't even have to bother searching for it, because... Your, your old buddy 480 is just going to tell you straight up the bat. You want to go to Quan's dwelling. So we're going to take our nice new little airship. And we are going to head over to Quan's dwelling. And we're going to park it right here. Okay, I have been recording for... A while now, but you know what? Too bad. This video is going to be long because I want to get as much done as I can. Because next video is going to be reserved for some something special. And then, uh, yeah. Anyway, over here in Quan's dwelling, we're going to drop down here. And we're going to examine this spot right here. This is where we got the Scorpio, by the way. Huh? There's something under where the Scorpio used to be. And it's the... An... A... A... Fic... A... Ficucus? Yeah, it's that thing. And the Scorpio and the Virgo just sparkled in his hand. Whatever that means. Only reason I know that's where the Scorpio used to be is because, well, that's what... That's what Zidane just said. I don't remember any of this stuff. Anyway, that's the 13th Stelazio. So, uh... Yeah, don't ask me how you're supposed to figure it out. Um... I guess reading them gives you some sort of clue, but this is why God invented the internet. And where am I going? I went the total wrong way. This airship doesn't exactly turn on a dime, I noticed. That's Alexandria. How am I lost? There, there's Trino. Alright, so we're just gonna drop this off real quick. I'm still going the wrong way. Well, yeah, I'm still going the wrong way. Oh! I went the total wrong way. All right, woman, I got your stupid medal. Oh, you found the la last Stelazio, that thing. Give it to me along with the rest of the Stelazio I loaned you. Okay. Wait. Wait, we're gonna do this one at a time? Every last one of them? 
despite the fact that you gave them to me in a text box on a blank screen all at once, now I have to give them to you all at the same time. All 13 of them. And it looks like it's coming out of his... Ugh. Looks like it's coming out of his butt. And that's not pleasant. Maybe it's like Tomba where he keeps them in his stomach. You may take the reward for my servant. And we got a hammer. All that for a freaking hammer? The hammer has something to do with Cena. I've heard it alters the ending slightly. I don't think it's worth all that. But there you are. I am satisfied. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for you to morph into a final boss. Alright, so we're done with her. There's one more thing I can do here in Trino. Before I handle the magical fingertip. There's something I can do here in Trino. I'm going to make a, uh, an equipment adjustment. Oh, wrong way. This woman has a new monster for me to fight. Let me make it a, an equipment adjustment. I'm going to go with the... Yeah, with, the, with that thing. Let me give him a flash hat for an extra speed burst. Uh, ninja gear. All, ninja gear boosts speed a, a little bit too in the running shoes. Just give him best speed, basically. Uh, let's see. Auto haste. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Let's just do auto haste and let's do auto regen and let's do distract. And this should work. I want to fight the monster. I want it to be Zidane. Looks like a familiar monster. Like, I've seen that before. Oh, wait. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Well, it's going to take a while for it to load up. Just to let you know, this is a behemoth. So, we're just going to do... Ow! Yeah, he does a lot of damage. That's why I have Distract on. This could go bad, by the way. I'm going to use Thievery all day. Uh, now, the nice thing about Thievery is uh, it's kind of a long animation. And while that animation is going off, auto-regen is auto-regening. That's what makes auto-regen so darn abusive in this game. And uh, thanks to my speed boosts, uh, Thievery does a fair amount of damage. Ah, you missed. That's uh, distract in action. Now, there's a trick you can exploit where if you have him equipped with the Sargitanus and add status... Um, it can, uh... You can hit him with a physical attack and it'll stone, it'll petrify him. But for some reason, it was not doing that in my practice run. I'm missing another part of that equation, and I didn't feel like learning what it was. I was like, you know what, I'll just thievery him to death. And, uh, now there, now there is, he can do something that I'm a little worried about. So we'll hope he doesn't, do, doesn't, we'll hope he doesn't does it. And if he does, well... Is he going to do it? No, he's not. He can counter with Meteor. So just be careful. He doesn't seem to want to do that. He did it in my practice run. He didn't kill me, but he put a hurting on. But, you know, Auto Regen is doing its job. Distract is helping out a little bit, too. And he croaked. So he's not too hard. Just, just be careful. Just prepare yourself. Wow, I can't believe it. Here's your prize. And we got a circlet. All that for a freaking circlet. Okay. Well, how nice. For me. Alright, now I'm going to... Uh, now I'm going to head back to... Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Now I'm going to head back to Dogwero, and I'm going to drop off the magical fingertip. Ba -da -da -da. City thrives on chaos. The black market is fueled by uncertainty. Well, that's nice. Bye, Trino. I don't think I'll ever be coming back here, so I'm going to really miss your awesome, happy, happy, happy music. And we get this depressing music over here.
Alright, let's head to Daguero. Let's fast forward. And let's go and find, uh, the old man. Watch him be like, oh yeah, the old man's dead. Whatever he was gonna give you in exchange for the magical fingertip, you're not getting it. Uh, there he is. Good, he's still standing. He's still vertical. Yeah, you, you have a magical fingertip. Will you give it to me? I beg you. Heck no. Okay, I understand. I'm just kidding. Of course I'll give it to you, bud. Oh, thank you. What's wrong? I I used to be a fairly well-known blacksmith. My work was everything to me, and then one day my wife died. That's when I moved here. I've lived here ever since. A few years ago, I read a biography of a great craftsman named Gogo. Nice Final Fantasy V and VI reference who was known for making dolls that looked like real people. Supposedly, the secret to his extraordinary skill was in his fingers. So I figured if I could get his fingers and combine them with my skills, I could make a doll that looked like my wife. That's... creepy. That's just weird. I'm such a fool. Look at these fingers. They look worn down as if they never got a break. They look just like my fingers. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I now realize that I must accept who I am, and how I have lived my life. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. I no longer need it. And we receive the Excalibur! Nice little reference to Final Fantasy IV there. He's like, yeah, I used to be a blacksmith. And not anymore. So yeah, and you get the Excalibur from him. I don't have many years left, but I'll make the best of them. Well, thank you, my new old friend. So yeah, the Excalibur, it's a new weapon, I believe, for Steiner. Uh, the Excalibur, like most Final Fantasy games, it's not that great. It sounds like a really cool sword, but they always give it to you after you... Well, not always, but like... It seems like a lot of times we get it after we get the Ragnarok and other stuff like that. So it's like, eh, is it really worth it? Alright, I think that's all we can do with Duckwero. I'm going to head to the Black Mage Village real quick because there's something I can do there. Actually, well, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll head there. Actually, no. No, before I go to the Black Mage Village, just to make sure I'm doing this right, I'm going to uh, track down my gold chocobo. I need him for a minute. I, th I don't think I need to do this. For, like, I think I can do the Black Mage Village first, but just to ensure that I have everything in my inventory that I need... Because I don't have... All I have is a list, and the list tells me what I need. It doesn't tell me why I need it. So I just... There's a few items I can get with my Chocobo, and I just want to make sure that they're in my inventory when I do the Black Mage thing. Uh, we're not going to fly. We're just going to... We're just going to swim around. You can do this. Yeah, you, you don't really need a gold Chocobo to do this. You don't need a flying Chocobo to do this. You just need... Uh, so you just need to be able to cross waters. But you need to be in the water to do this. Like, you can't be flying. But basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get over to the Shimmering Island. Okay? That's what I'm trying to do. And unfortunately, there's not really an indicator of when you're at it. Because it's basically gone. But, uh, almost there. This might be it. I think I'm on it. There's no foam, but you want to use a dead pepper. Now, I think this is the right spot. If it's not, I'll reload state. Of course, I have a lot of dead peppers. That was not the right spot. Uh, let's try here. Yeah, I, I wish they could have given us a mark. Nope. Uh, let's look at that map. Uh. 
I feel like it's right here. I'm feeling lucky. Third time's the charm. Ah, and look at that! Third time was the charm. Found a treasure chest on the bottom of the ocean. Found one or ten aquamarine, one Ultima weapon, one Maximilian, and one invincible card. I have too many cards. Uh, I don't remember what the Maximilian is, but the Ultima weapon, not to be confused with the Ultima sword, which we bought for uh, Mr. Steiner there, the Ultima weapon is uh, Zidane's final weapon. Yeah, and there's, uh, there's Esto Gaza blocked off by tree roots. So yeah, Ultima weapon, Zidane's final weapon. Cool. I'm looking for a forest. I can't find a forest. Okay, I was gonna try fly over there, but looks like there is no forest. Oh, there's a forest. Alright, now let's just go ahead and find my airship. And now I'm gonna head to the Black Mage Village. We'll do something with the gold chocobo later. Next video, I think. Alright, Black Mage Village. Actually, let me just go to Conda Petite real quick. I'm, I'm curious if... Um, I'm curious if this... Oh, looks like... Uh, I think the place is blocked off. I just wanted to see if it was blocked off. It is. I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, now the Black Mage Village is where I want to go. Unfortunately, I have to trek through this forest, which means I can run into nasty monsters. But let's go ahead and land, and let's uh, go ahead and equip this new weapon on uh, Mr. Zidon. It doesn't teach us anything except for flee, but look at the attack power. Alright, let's, uh, let's run. Stupid Marlboros! Again! Stupid Marlboros! And Quinn learned healer, which Okay, here, let me use some, uh, uh, eye drops, because we got the darkness status on us. Maybe I should equip bright eyes. Alright, Black Mage Village, let's do this. Clearly, I need to rest up. Now, what I want to do here in the Black Mage Village is I want to go to the Black Cat Synthesis Shop. There's some stuff we can buy here. I don't know if I needed any of that stuff that was in that treasure. That's why I waited. But let's, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, uh, I noticed one of the genomes is here. No, stop it! Talk. Can I not talk to you? There we go. Alright, I got some stuff to synthesize. I want to synthesize, uh, ba 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 Hey, look, you can synthesize the Masa Moon. That's cool. And Dual Claws. None of that stuff, the Priest Racket, none of this stuff is on my list, so I'm guessing I'm gonna get it later. I do want to get three of these bracers you get from Battle Boots and Venetia Shields. So there you go. Uh, I want to get two... I want to get one of these circlets from uh, Coronet and Rosetta Ring. Okay, just one. Uh, I want to get two of these Brave Suits from Mithril, Ve Mithril Vest and Mithril Rod. And I want to get... Uh, I want to get a Rosetta Ring from a Maiden's Medane's Ring and a Holy Lance. Just one, and then there's there's like two more things I need. Did I did I pass them? Oh no, there they are. The Golden Skull Caps. I I I want two of those from Gold Helms and, and Golden Hairpins. How how come I how come I can only get? Uh oh, I'm supposed to be able to get two of those. According to my list, I'm supposed to be able to get two, but I only have... Oh, I wonder if, um, Dagger's wearing... No? Huh! Well, okay, we're only getting one of those today. I, I guess, I guess... Do I not have enough money? Oh, I don't have enough monies! That's all it is. How much monies is that? Oh yeah, I need I need some monies. Wow, I ran out of monies. Didn't think it would happen. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, no matter. I'll just do the cotton robe trick. Um, 
yeah, matter of fact, what I'll do is, uh, between now and next video, I'll, I'll just, uh, if I don't get my money back, I'll just, uh, I'll do the cotton rope trick again. No big deal. But in the meantime, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll concentrate on just, you know, fighting battles. Let me, let me make my way all the way back to my airship. Alright, we made it back to the airship. Uh, what else do I want to do at this point? Um... Okay, at this point I only need... Oh, that's the Aoife tree. We'll mess with that later. At this point I only need... For what I'm about to do next, I only need one Golden Skull Cap. But I will want to get that second one. So I'll do that between now and the next video. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I know where I want to go. I want to find a Q's Marsh. Uh, any Q's Marsh will do. Preferably one that has frogs. I'll go to this one. Alright. This will work. Let me just, um... Let me use a tent. Well, hang on. I'll, I'll do that in a second. Let me use a tent. Like I was saying, let me use a tent and make a an equipment adjustment. So be right back. Okay. Uh, I made my equipment adjustments and I rested up and we're all good to go. Let's have a look at what we got going on here. We have Zdan, Quinna, Amrit, and Dagger. Definitely need Quinna for this. Um, and I brought these two. But she's useful. He's just here to learn stuff. Uh, let's see. So, first and foremost, everybody's wearing a ribbon. That's mandatory. Uh, I, believe it or not, I have Zidane back on the, on the Ord Chal Chalicon, whatever, just because it gives him a slight speed boost. Flash hat for speed, thief gloves for stealing and speed, ninja gear for speed boost, there you go. Uh, Quinn has got circlet, bracer, black robe, and ribbon. amrit has got gold, golden skull cap, which teaches power up. Power wrist. Oh yeah, he he finished uh, whatever he was working on the Avenger, and I got him on the Kaiser Knuckles now, which is his best. Power wrist, brave suit, uh, auto regen and restore HP, and a ribbon. And let's see, Dagger's got circlet, bracer, robe of lords, which teaches concentrate, and ribbon. Okay, abilities we have. <clears throat> We have Auto Haste, Distract, for Zidane, uh, Master Thief, uh, of course, level up and ability up. Everybody needs to have Antibody, Clear Headed, and, you know, something, you know, I have Bright Eyes on Zidane. I don't really know if we need Bright Eyes. Bandit, um, Auto Haste for Quinna, MP plus 10%, level up, ability up, Clear Headed. An antibody. Would have been nice if I could have gotten half MP, but I couldn't, so there you go. Um, for Amaranth, HP plus 10%, HP plus 20%. Uh, power up, ability up, level up. Bright eyes, clear headed, and do I not have antibody? Why do I not have antibody? Because I can't afford it. Huh. Alright, well, he doesn't get that. Fair enough. Um, ah, what did I do that? Okay, Dagger's got, uh, level up, ability up, loud mouth, clear headed, boost, and antibody. Make sure she's got boost, and please make sure she has loud mouth. Alright, let's, let's go into the Q's Marsh. Now, like I said, I caught basically up to 98 frogs. And there's a whole bunch of them right here, including a golden frog. Oh, can I catch front? Yeah, yeah. So I need one more frog. That golden frog will do just nicely. Come here, buddy. Or not. Any any frog. That frog. Okay. Let's capture this frog. Now, when you catch capture 99 frogs, Quail comes up. He tells me I'm working hard. Okay, what are you going to give me this time? Now the time, Quinna. You on your own from now on. You train to become ultimate Gorman alone. Master Quail, before you go, you take final test. We have to fight Master Quail. 
and he's a fairly challenging fight. Um, but yeah, this happens when you get uh, 99 frogs. We're just going to go ahead and save in the middle of the uh, battle against my better judgment. Um, uh, so basically, yeah, he has a lot of blue magic spells that he will use. But if you have magic hammer as I do, you can, uh, you can try to suck all his MP out. Now, all of my equipment that I'm wearing uh, absorbed all that. Now, Zidane's going to steal. Now, uh, and we'll just have everybody else just kind of go, you know? Or everybody else wait. Okay, we got an elixir. Now, this is why you want clear-headed on everybody. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's just continue to steal. Yeah, magic hammer, you want to suck his MP dry. And everybody else just wait. You missed. That's distracting action. Silence! I kill you! Alright, uh... Zidane and Amrit were the only ones I couldn't protect against silence. But also, they're like... I don't really care for them. Now, if Zidane could steal, that would be pretty cool. So, uh... Yeah, looks like we may have to, uh... Well, I think we're gonna have to cut to when we finally start stealing stuff. So here we go. Alright, well we stole another robe of lords from him, that's cool. Mini! There's not a whole lot I can do about that. Oh, but it missed, thank goodness. And we stole the glutton's robe. I think that's all he has at this point. I'll just verify. I think that's pretty much all the... Ah, uh, he can't really cast anything now. Oh, no, he still has something else. Uh, well, who are you going to try to confuse? How does he still have MP? One MP. I'd, I'd be surprised if he has anything else. All right, let me cut to when I steal that last item. I don't think I need to keep using Magic Hammer at this point. All right, we stole the ninja gear. I think that's all he has. And as you can see, he uh, Zidane is tranced. Yeah, doesn't have anything. Um, let's go ahead and cure Amrit real quick. Now, is Zidane going to be able to get... Uh, yeah, he's going to be able to get a, a Grand Lethal going. Let's do it. Um, to attack this guy, uh, just go all out. Um... We'll have Dagger use Bahamut. This is why we have Boost equipped. Uh, did that not do any damage? Oh. Well, that sucked. I wasn't paying attention. I couldn't see if that did any damage or not. Didn't seem to do any damage. Alright, well, whatever. Mega Flare! Now, Dagger may have to restore some of her MP because she's been using a lot of it curing people. Because Quail's uh, rolling attack does hurt when it connects. It doesn't always connect. And oh my goodness, look at that damage. That's all those Garnets we have and the fact that um, uh, we have boost on. Let's do that again. You missed. Oh, come on, Amrit. Here, let me fast forward to this because it takes too long. I didn't see how much damage that did. I know it did a lot, though. Okay. Alright, looks like Dagger's gonna really have to think about, uh... Here, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and try to get some of her MP back. Yep, 
Yeah, this guy has a lot of HP, too. Oh, come on, Quinna. That'll work. I think he's dead. Yep, he's dead. He just unceremoniously toppled over. And we get 10 ABP and a ton of experience. Power up. Alright, that's good. I no more have to teach you. I give you this. And we receive the Gastro Fork. Thank you, Master Quail. I train more. All right, well, the Gastro Fork is uh, Quinna's best weapon. Not that great, but it's there. All right, I done catching. Now let's get out of here. All right, now... How much money do I have? I could probably, mm, I could probably buy that or synthesize that uh, that last uh, skull cap or whatever. Let me go ahead and use an echo screen on Amaranth there. Let me go ahead and use another tent. Now, I need to make a few. Oh, well, first off, let's go ahead and give that uh, new fork to uh, Quinna. So there you go. All right, I need to make a few uh, party adjustments and I'll be right back. All right, now uh, I brought in Eco to replace Dagger. I, uh, let's see, I'm going to, I gave her, I've gave different characters various pieces of equipment that teach various abilities that require a lot of ability points because over here, Near Estogaza, or where Estogaza used to be, I should say, I can run into a certain uh, creature. Let's we'll see if I can do that. I'm gonna cut to when I actually do. All right. Um, took me a minute to run into this guy. It's another friendly creature. This is uh, kind of on the icy cap areas of um, what do you call it? Uh, Estogaza, and he wants a Moonstone. Well, I got three of them. Let's uh, go ahead and give it to him. It's a Feather Circle. Hey, guy. Thank you. Have you met Garuda? All right, well, cool. We got uh, those abilities for those guys. And I got a Lapis Lazuli, which I'm guessing I'll need for the next one. Now, where is the next one? I gotta figure out where the next one is. Hang on a minute. Okay. This is the area above Gizmaluke's Grotto, where the Moogles told us not to go. Oh, by the way, I should probably drop off a Koopo Nut. Let me uh, go ahead and do that. Oh, look at the little Moogles they got. Uh, and he's gonna give me a tent. Okay, whatever. Now, out in the fields here, of course, you can run into Grand Dragons, which are still pretty useful. But if you wander around this forest, you can meet up with something else. All right, this guy is the Garuda. Lapis Lazuli! Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got you covered, honey. Oh, I got 44 of them. Yeah, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. And this is my party. <laughs> well, okay, well, you're supposed to tell me who I'm supposed to look for next. Well, he doesn't, but I got all that good stuff. 
Yes! I think we're done with Amrit now. Alright. So, he doesn't tell you where to find the other, the next guy. That's why your old buddy 480 is here. Give me one second. Alright, now we're over on basically the island where the Aoife tree is. I think it is. I think the Aoife tree is here. Oh, no, 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 no. The Aoife tree is there. We're on this island over here. It's called Vile Island. We want to wander around this forest. Woo! Okay. This is the guy we want. Hey, buddy. Give me a diamond. Well, okay. Do I even have a diamond? Yeah, I do. Well, he's a Yan. Let's give it to him. Yan of the Hidden Village? No. Thanks a lot! Now you can reach the round guy! The round guy? Like the round-headed kid? That's great. Our, our, we, we, we gotta look for Charlie Brown now. No, 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 no. The round guy is somebody different. We'll deal with the round guy in the next video. Okay, look. In this forest, you can meet up with that Yan. Uh, or you can meet up with uh, mean Yans. Yans that you actually have to fight. And they are nasty! They spam comment and they will decimate your party. And it's so hard to run from them, so you basically gotta have Zidane use, uh, flee as soon as his turn comes up. They are dangerous. Um, I'm not gonna mess with them. Um, you can strategize ways to defeat them, but yeah. Uh, anyway, Yan was the last friendly creature in the game, so sweet, I learned a lot of really cool stuff. In the next video, we're gonna go find the round guy, and then that's, we're basically gonna be done. Between now and the next video, I'm gonna see about getting that last golden skull cap. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm 480 Volts. You have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Peace is...